breaking news. This, this is why Odumeji building, his church building was demolished today in Anambra State. According to Governor Saludo, he says um, they've been looking at the town planning, I mean the whole state planning and what have you to ensure that everything is in place and things were being done decently and in order. So um, buildings belonging to individuals, churches and what have you that are in way that or places they should not that they issued um, a notice to them with regards to the proposed plan but Dumeji for some reasons did not really you know respond to any form of communication that was you know put out to him with regards to this it was really a devastating sight i must tell you a big church building was demolished today by the anambra state government i mean it was not pleasant at all a security operative has to come in to hold him you know and in fact it was even mahandled if you want to ask me Let's get all the details. Why Dumeji's building was demolished, Anambra State Government. The Anambra State Government says it commenced the demolition of illegal constructed buildings earlier marked for demo demolition in Onicha on Thursday. Mr. Christian Abin, press secretary to the government, Chukuoma Soludo, and salute and salute the governor of Anambra State disclosed this in a statement made available to journalists in Equal. The press secretary said that several illegal structures along the water line in Feg and the environment of the Onicha would be pulled down. The exercise, which began from Baidid Road by Modebe Avenue, Onicha, is expected to be extended to other parts of the town. He said that the team handling the demolition began the work at Fergian area for nature following the expiration of the more than two months notice served de developers and building owners in April this year. The news agency of Nigeria NAN reports that several of the buildings affected were the security the, the were the security security and generator house of the prophets of the mountain of holy ghost intervention deliverance ministry on Nietzsche. that was what was affected it was not the whole church building just where the, the security house and the um the um the security house that's where like the gatesman stays and the building the house the church generator According to an eyewitness who pleaded an amenity, he said the tax force supervising the work mahandled the prophet, who tried to prevent the workers from demolishing his structure. When the team arrived in the company of armed security operative, he saw them, he saw them struggling with the prophet while the operators of the bulldozers were busy demolishing the structure, the source has said. The source further said that the structure erected along the along the Newinaga stream were, were never removed in line with the actualization of the Onicha urban planning. So this was what happened today. Uh, the prophet was manhandled because um, he was resisting the demolition of the building and um, a lot of persons are not happy. I mean, a lot of issues has come out of it. And the governor of Anambra State, um, all he could say is that a well-dated um, well, uh, notice has been sent to the following people, but they all refuse to take, mm -hmm. you know, they all refuse to um, answer to the notice. None of them responded as they should appropriately. But for this um, building, this church building, what was demolished was, according to what you can hear, is a security, the place that housed the security and also where you have the uh, generator mm -hmm. house. Okay, but the church building itself was not marked. However, the, the prophet, uh, what, you know, was trying to prevent the guys from demolishing the building and that was where the mahandling came, you know, came into being. Okay, so, I mean, it's it's rather really sad because I guess he was not expecting it. Okay, and so this was what happened today. 
a lot of persons, a lot of people have been reacting with results to this um, recent development that have been causing a lot of stir. Uh, you know, and a lot of persons are asking, what, was, the, was the notice served properly? Was it well documented? Are you sure the church got it or somebody just came there, marked the building and walked away? Was the notice well delivered? You know, so these are questions bordering around how the notice was effected. And if really they got the notice, did they take it seriously or they just made very light of it? Because what happened today, you know, has really caused a lot of um, reactions with the um, uh, with Governor Saludo, gov uh, Anambra State Government being in the center of it all. OK, because, I mean, this is a place of worship. But I mean, in the governor's defense, what he can say is that really, truly, sincerely speaking, that they issued notice over two months ago. But, you know, when a building is erected, is erected, there's nothing you can do. You can't uh, move the building from where it is. Once it's there, it's there. Could it, could it be that they have provided alternative or given them, you know, some funds, some sort of funds to say you can acquire, I mean, you can get, uh, you know, something to augment or to cover for exactly what you are losing, you know, because we need to treat people well. Again, the government is to be blamed. Maybe not Charles Saludo, but I mean, the government, you know, uh, if the government has been putting things in place, illegal structure and before anything is put up you know proper investigations uh, permits has been taken then there'll be no surprises there'll be no need for a structure that is already erected that people are used to you see that people are used to for instance now the security house is gone the place that housed the generator is gone and i guess there was no fall notice or they were not prepared that's what that's the best word so the generator might still be in the generator building house do you understand so that means they've lost in both ways losing the generator and you know the irregular power supply how nigeria is and all that so i mean we'll get you more up to speed as more of this unfold as we get to understand what really is going on but there's been a lot of contention and um, a lot of very sad occurrences that have happened today as a result of the building demolition of course, the prophet is not happy. Uh, the members uh, of the of the of the of the of the church are not happy. However, the government of Anambra State says it's the best thing for Anambra, as the town needs to be rid of you know illegal structures that have um, you know obs that are obs that are you know uh, obstructing uh, you know the clear you know move and how things ought to be in the state so that the state's true um, you know beauty can be revealed. Well, my people, a lot of persons have different reservations to what has happened and um, rather it's, it is what it is. Leave us a comment. Bye for, bye for now.